Hello, it is 9pm. I don't know how much charge there is in this camera. And I have my dressing going on. I think this just sums up how this video is going to go. It's very bright in here though. Why is it so white? So today in the... I never do an introduction, do I? Hi, I'm Amy. Today in the post, when I got this, I, it came in a box. I'm keeping it in here because it smells really strongly of cigarette smoke so I want to throw the box out but this is a TENS pen um, so if you don't know what a TENS machine is basically it's this machine where you get like little wires and electrodes and they put, you put the electrodes on certain points and it like zaps you with like a low level like electric shock kind of like it's not really an electric shock that makes it sound way more dramatic than it is basically it's supposed to help with pain and I recently found out that they do these little like pen ones where you like click the top and the, it zaps out the bottom. The idea is that you put it on acupuncture points um, or around pain sites um, and it helps with pain so we are going to try it today. Um, so I actually got this um, to deal with my jaw pain however on some research I probably should have done before I bought it but I bought this second hand. This is a free warning I did buy the second hand. It says 2017 there but it also says lot so I don't know if that's a date or a lot number um but it seems to be working pretty effectively I have kind of tried one I tried one in a pharmacy once um and it feels the same as the one in the pharmacy did so I, I don't think it's been used much I think it's just an old one um but yes it is second hand um, and the box was really bashed up and it's pop cigarettes so I took it out and put it in a different box <laughs> I've also cleaned this thoroughly if anyone says anything but yes I bought this to deal with my jaw pain however on googling it after I bought it um, I found that you can't put TENS machines on your temples or your neck which obviously leaves the, the, the um, TMJ joint is like quite close especially to the temples um, but that was for the pad ones so I'm not really sure about the pens because I think the idea is that they're a little bit less intense and obviously you click them as many times as you want so you can kind of change the intensity you're supposed to click it 20 to 30 times but obviously you can just do it like five times if that's what you want um so i think i'm going to try in a few other places first and see if it seems worth risking doing it here and um, the internet says that you can put it on this joint but just with it being so close to the temple i'm a bit iffy about it um and it also came with this chart which has like a list of ailments on it and then a list of points so it tells you for which ailment which points to use and the headache points are actually on your hands because again it's kind of an acupuncture thing um so we're going to do that but I'm going to immediately try a thing because I think my thumb is subluxed. It hurts a bit. So actually I think it's just fixed itself which is really annoying. So I think it doesn't hurt as much for me as I can't film this video. <laughs> um, but I'm going to give it a go anyway. This, this wrist is hurting a little bit also. We'll try it on this wrist. Let's give this a go. It's a very weird feeling. I don't know if you can hear it like cracking. Oh, Okay so I need to do that. A couple times let's do it quite a few times okay that is such a weird feeling um it doesn't hurt i think from what i can tell the, the so that was quite a fatty bit of my arm um so when you do it like straight onto like a bone it doesn't hurt it just feels more intense um so yeah i mean my wrist kind of does feel better but i don't know how instant this is and that's just all in my mind i mean well no maybe it's not i mean i do think it is supposed to be pretty instantaneous so maybe it is helping the top i don't know my it kind of feels tingly and like if, if i haven't lost any sensation it does say that sometimes you can get a bit of a numbing sensation it also says sometimes it can cause bruises but i never bruise so i'm not worried about that um and even if it does like i don't mind like a little bruise here and there um, it doesn't feel like weirdly tingly. When I did it, I did it here before, which is um, where I just tested it out originally, and it did feel a bit tingly and weird for a bit. Do you know what? I think that is working a little bit. Is this all in my head? Who knows? Okay, so that, I kind of feel like up here feels better, but like this bit doesn't. So we're going to try a different point. And this is more of like a muscle, so we'll see if this feels any different. Oh! <laughs> Oh yeah, that is way more intense. Oh, I don't really want to do this again, but I don't know if you can see my hand twitching. Oh, okay. 
Oh, that was better. Oh, that felt much better that time. Okay, maybe I just got used to it. You <laughs> see my fingers twitching? Wait. Okay. Yeah, that is really w Oh, my finger's going numb. Oh, it's going all tingly. Oh. <laughs> Almost like a pins and needles feeling. I don't know if... <laughs> okay, we'll give that a minute. And see what that's like. It might just be so holding my hand up. Um, But it does seem that whatever the... The effects of it are, are pretty instantaneous and it is pretty intense. I don't think I need 20 to 30 yet, but it does say that you want it to like build up to higher intensities. Um, it is a really weird feeling and I think it is something that you do have to get used to. Um, but initial first impressions is that it has potential for like minor... <laughs> I think it feels really weird. Um, for like minor aches. Um, like my wrist feels better now. But the issue with like the the oh no my finger definitely feels weird. That definitely has done something <laughs> to my finger. Um, this this down here is what what feels strange. Um, yeah, it seems to definitely have potential to work. But the issue with like very minor pains, especially if they're caused by subluxations, is that they come and go so frequently they can like appear and then disappear like ten minutes later. Um, and they're also so mild. Um, that any sort of very mild pain relief will take it away. It's more like um the more long lasting and intense pains I like to try it with. Like right now my knee's hurting quite a lot and it hurts quite a lot a lot of the time. Um and even the currently quite strong painkillers I'm on for my head headaches is not even touching my knee. Um even though it's the same type of painkillers so it should be should help with that. So um I think that's gonna be the biggest challenge. So I guess maybe I'm gonna give that a go. So off camera, uh, um, my thumb pain came back, so I just wanted to give this a uh, little bit of a try again on a, on a thing that's been flaring up for a few days, so it's more like a consistent pain. Um, and I, it said for arthritis, which is like what my kind of pain is very similar to, and to put it on the site. So I did put it on the site and it didn't work quite as well. And then it told me to uh, try them on for fingers, and that one's worked much better. However, the... I don't know how to describe it, like moving my thumb is a lot hot like this one is moving absolutely fine and this is like it feels really stiff like almost automatically it's been like like 30 seconds since I've done this it feels like so much more stiff and harder to move and this one like is absolutely fine so it's not just like mobility in my hands it's it's specifically my thumb where I put it on um and it it definitely feels like numb to the touch I touch this one I can feel it a lot more than this like I can feel it a bit just just less um so it's definitely doing something but I wonder if maybe like this is a lot harder and I can feel it sounds strange but I can feel these fingers working more to move this when I do that these fingers start to hurt because I feel like the, the muscles are probably trying a lot harder um but yeah I, I don't know how long this is gonna last but I'm feeling maybe for pain in my fingers this might not be the most practical because like it's actually starting to come back a little bit but the pain is also starting to come back so maybe this isn't going to last very long and maybe the more that I do this the more the pain's going to come back it's definitely doing something and the thing that it's doing is taking the pain away but unclear as to whether or not it's worth it especially if it makes your joints stiff because that's where all my pain is okay last update of the night I promise it's like two minutes later and the pain is already back but also like the mobility is not quite there I don't know if the pain is back because I just stretched this joint a lot and that might have caused the pain or if it just hasn't lasted very long I didn't use the full 20 to 30 clicks I only used like maybe 5 on each point but I only think one of the points really worked um, but yeah I'm sticking with my original thought which is this has potential but I think it might need some figuring out okay that's my final update for the night goodnight <laughs> Hello, it is a while later as you can probably tell because I'm in a different house. I must probably open a curtain but I don't want to. Okay, so update. I've been using this like on and off for the past like week or so. Um and the results are kind of the same as to what I initially told you, which was that I get like 
very short term medium re immediate relief and then it goes away um, and there isn't anything about how often you can use those but I kind of don't want to like drive in straight away to using it like I'd, ha I'd have to be using it pretty much constantly as in like doing it like once every 15 minutes like and even then it wouldn't be continuous because it doesn't last 15 minutes um, in order to get proper relief but the one place that I haven't tried it yet is my knees and I don't know what I've done to anger the knee gods but the past few days my knees have been really bad so we're gonna try that again I'm not just gonna like whip my legs out on camera just not feeling that as you can see kind of just woke up <laughs> um so I think I'm just gonna like give this a go and then let you guys know what I think okay so I've done it on this one and not on this one so for the the knee I think I can actually do it through the fabric you do it it doesn't yeah, it just kind of work you do it um behind your knee so I've done it on this one not this one and I will say it can it's pretty much the same like this one feels better now almost immediately feels better but I just don't think it's gonna last very long. This one is quite bad at the moment, so I'm gonna try out this one as well and see if um. It... Here's the thing: like my pain comes and goes so often that I'm not entirely sure if it has helped or if just changing positions of my knee has momentarily made it better, which is an issue. Um, but this one right now in this position is hurting, so I guess we try that. See, it's almost like coming back in this one already. It just doesn't last very long. Yeah. So I've just done it in this one and again it feels momentarily a little bit better. Definitely not good. I mean currently so far my experience with this is that like it might work <laughs> a bit. Um, I got this really cheap second hand but so far I'm thinking maybe don't pay a lot of money for them. I'm gonna keep you updated on my experiences. See, the the pain in the first knee that I did is all is already like coming back. Um, um, and my second knee it didn't completely take it away anyway. So does this work at all? Or am I just moving my legs to a more comfortable position? <sighs> Unclear. Hey, so it is a while later, and I've been sitting on this footage for a while. Um, but I just wanted to come up and basically do a sum up. I thought about not posting this video, um, but I filmed the bits of it and yeah, I might, I might as well. I don't really have much time to do anything else right now. So this is what this is what you're gonna get. Um, so I'm gonna sum up my, my feelings on this. Do I think the tens pen is worth it? Maybe. Um, I think I need more guidance on how to use it. Um, I think if it was not pandemic times and I've been able to talk to a physio about how to use it properly, it would be better. Um, does it work? Kind of. It kind of momentarily works. Um, I think the TENS pen for me has proven to me that TENS systems would work for me to take away my pain. Um, I think a proper TENS machine where you could like attach it to yourself and leave it running would work. Do I think that the pen works? Yes, but maybe not for long enough. Um, and also, yeah, I'm just nervous about using it like on my face for one thing. Um, and, and the fact that it was sh such a short term relief that you'd have to be pretty much constantly using it for it to be worth anything. Um, so yeah, I, I think... My conclusions to this are that it does work, I don't know if it's the solution and I've hardly been using it so it's just not a thing, I don't think it's a thing that's practical in my life to be carrying around and constantly using, I think using something like um, ibuprofen gel or something like that is a bit better for um, like short term topical pain relief. Um, I'm more interested in trying like a proper TENS machine, I think that would work a little bit better but again I like to do that with the guidance of a physio. Um, I think possibly my takeaway from this to tell you guys is that um, if you think it's worth it then maybe try it, maybe don't pay, pay full price. There's quite a few people getting rid of them second hand online which is where I got mine um, so maybe don't pay the full extortionate price 
for them. Um, I think maybe if you have a physio or you know someone who's used a TENS machine or you know a nurse or something then maybe talk to them about it as well um, and I would maybe use it as a stepping stone to see if TENS works for you. I know for a lot of people they just don't get anything out of it. Um, I definitely did feel momentary pain relief which means that for me maybe a proper big TENS machine would be um, something that I should look at um, but again would like to talk it through with someone who knows a bit more about it than I do and the only thing I know about it is based on like the internet and what I read on the leaflet that they gave me. So I think that's everything, I'm not sure what this video is going to be like, I think it's going to be a little bit all over the place but it's what you get and suck it up honestly. <laughs> Okay, um, if you have any requests or questions, leave them down in the comments. New videos every Wednesday, like, subscribe, and watch us. And I'll see you next week. Bye.